Dark energy is a strange phenomenon in that if it exists, it dominates this universe. It makes up about 68% of the total energy of the observable universe, whereas dark matter is about 26%, and regular matter is about 5%, photons and neutrinos much less. This strange form of energy affects the universe at the largest scales and drives the expansion of the universe at an accelerating rate, something we've only really known since 1998. Dark energy has a very low density compared to matter and dark matter. But unlike matter and dark matter, dark energy is uniformly distributed across the universe, leading to there being much more of it overall. We know that the universe's expansion is speeding up, and to do that, you need some form of dark energy in the system. And there actually is observational evidence of dark energy. This initially came from observations of Type 1a supernovae, this type of supernova has a known constant luminosity, which means you can use it to measure distances. The researchers that did that work then compared distance to redshift and found that the expansion of the universe was accelerating. Conventional wisdom at the time in physics was that this was the opposite of what was expected, which was for the expansion to slow down over time. It isn't. Since that discovery, a surprising amount of further evidence has surfaced for dark energy, or at least the need for it to be there, given the way the universe is observationally operating. What dark energy's nature is, however, remains elusive. There are a number of hypotheses, but no consensus. But whatever dark energy is, it may have enormous implications on just how this universe will continue to evolve and ultimately end. Whatever it is, it's pushing galaxies all away from each other at an increasing rate to the point that in the far future, there may be alien civilizations arising on planets that have no way to know that other galaxies even exist, severely constraining what they can do in studying cosmology. What was thought up until now is that whatever dark energy is, it is a constant force. It should never change and is linked to the cosmological constant this was proposed by Einstein in 1917. Interestingly, Einstein tried to eliminate and remove it from his general relativity equations. For decades, physicists agreed with this. They just assumed the constant to have a value of zero. The supernova data in the 90s proved otherwise, that the constant had a positive value. Einstein originally included the constant to counteract gravity to assume what was then thought to be a static universe, also an error. In the early universe, when everything was compacted together, gravity won out over dark energy. But as space expanded, gravity got weaker due to distance. But with dark energy as a constant force, it would just keep going as it is, but leading to an apparent accelerated rate. The switch between gravity and dark energy happened about 5 billion years ago. New work, however, shows otherwise, and things may not be as we thought, forcing yet another revision on the idea of a cosmological constant. In the new study, the case is made that dark energy is actually weakening, and always has been, complicating how the universe unfolded yet again. The study created a three-dimensional map that shows how galaxies have spread and clustered across the history of the universe which gives an insight into the forces moving those galaxies around, including dark energy. The work comes from DESI at Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, linked to their site in the description below, which has links to all of their papers. The initial analysis included 6 million galaxies and quasars, but that number is now nearly 15 million. They also looked at the CMB, supernovae and distant galaxies, differences in the shapes of galaxies, and the end result is that multiple lines of evidence now seem to show that dark energy is weakening over time. No one knows why this is, and the finding is frankly surprising and carries some very hefty back to the drawing board potentials for cosmology. But more work is needed because the results still fall a bit shy of proof of dark energy weakening. So the group ambitiously plans to push it to 50 million galaxies by the time their survey ends next year. And they are not alone in studying dark energy. 
it's a hot topic in astrophysics, and the under construction LSST Vera Rubin telescope will be involved, which sees first light this coming July, as well as ESA's ongoing Euclid mission. If all these missions start seeing the same things, then cosmology will have to do some rethinks. And it's not just these findings. The DESI data on its own actually are consistent with standard cosmological models, but when you combine it with data from other observations, such as those of the cosmic microwave background radiation, gravitational lensing, the distant supernovae again, everything seems to tie together in such a way as to indicate that dark energy is losing steam and thus is not a constant. Actually, the earlier 2024 data from DESI also hinted that dark energy may be dynamic in some way and not a constant, so the new data bolsters it. So if dark energy ends up surviving this as a constant, then two things can happen. The big freeze, where the universe will just expand forever. It'll get colder, objects will move out of visibility from each other, the stars will burn out, and the black holes will evaporate, leaving star cinders at best and eventually maybe nothing at all, if it turns out that the proton decays eventually. But here is the kicker. If dark energy weakens over time, welcome back to a very old hypothesis about the end of the universe that had fallen off the table. The Big Crunch. If dark energy is weakening, there comes a point where the expansion of the universe starts to slow, stops, and then potentially reverses. The universe then collapses in on itself, until once again it becomes a singularity. That could mean that another Big Bang event is set up, and we actually live in the current iteration of a cyclic universe that expands, contracts, explodes, expands, and so on. This theory fell out of favor for many years. Everything was pointing towards the Big Freeze scenario, but the big wild card there is dark energy which outweighs overall gravity to slow the expansion of the universe. But if dark energy goes away, things change. There were holdouts, though, that asked questions about fluctuations in dark energy that could still bring about a big crunch. But these new findings actually do seem to indicate such a fluctuation in a big way, if it doesn't change again. The big crunch idea is old. It was first proposed in 1922 by Alexander Friedman, which basically illustrated that the end of the universe depends on its density. It could either expand or contract. If you have enough matter, and you have enough gravity, the universe's expansion would reverse. That means it crunches back down into a singularity, which is another odd thing, that is somewhat similar to a black hole. Remember, they too are singularities. What would the end of the universe look like in a big crunch, you ask? In short, it would be the most apocalyptic event possible in the universe. It's essentially the reverse, at least in some ways, of the Big Bang. This would force the light and high energy particles emitted by stars to crunch down and blue shift to increasingly higher energy. Long before colliding with each other, the surfaces of stars would ignite. All life in the universe at this point would be long gone. The extinction of everything would happen at some point early in this process, and there will be no one around to see it, but it's possible they may see a time when things are getting much closer together than they are right now. At the very last moment as the universe collapses, it would be a sphere full of fire at near infinite temperatures, and at the end there would be no space, time will have ceased, and there will only be the singularity. But there was one other idea worth mentioning here that may really be falling to the wayside. If dark energy's potency continues to grow, the universe could also end in a big rip and tear itself apart in about 22 billion years. But if dark energy is in fact weakening, then this will not occur. But ultimately, a lot of what underpins dark energy are still assumptions, such as what's known as the cosmological principle. And it's just that, on a large enough scale, the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. It's the same in all directions, and looks on large scales the same wherever you are in the universe. This works for things like time as well, where yeah, there are variations due to general relativity where it ticks at different rates, but overall it's about the same. 
Other recent work has shown that this may not actually smooth out as much as was previously thought, and that the expanding areas of different times might mimic the effects of dark matter, meaning it never existed. Why it would appear to be slowing down, however, comes into play there. The point is, we really know next to nothing about dark energy other than it's needed to explain certain things we see. And that was evident even in Einstein's day, even though he tried to eliminate it. It made a comeback, and now looks like it may not actually be a constant, further complicating the landscape of dark energy. And that's if dark energy exists and isn't something being mistaken or unrecognized by us. And in 50 years, the landscape of how we see the expansion and potential end of the universe may be completely different from now. Science, after all, truly is a process of learning, discovery, and revision. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently concerned about the universe running out of energy and collapsing. I do that often after a hard day so I have to cut the cosmos some slack. But I do wonder if the universe is overworked. It, after all, does a lot of stuff, with never a break. All work and no play makes the universe a dull singularity. 13.8 billion years without a vacation. Though it does contain all the beaches and cruise ships, it may vacation vicariously through those. Kinda sad. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channels for regular in-depth explorations to the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.